I was born down south and moved around all the time. I moved like 13 times growing up all over the south. And then I went to school down south for undergraduate for sociology, psychology, and criminal science. And then I moved to Manhattan and I was gonna finish my, I'd started my master's degree in criminology. And I, I was really broke so I became a bartender. And then when I was a bartender, this director started hiring me for like films and commercials and music videos or whatever. And then I got, one of the commercials I did got really big and it's like somebody called me out to LA for the weekend and I booked a TV show the day I got out here. When I look at my life and my life has been crazy, crazy. I've had a crazy life. I feel in every day of my life, especially in my faith journey, it makes more and more and more sense to me that God's hand has been, had been right there all the time. Every move, as even the giant forks in the road, they just seemed, you know, confusing to me because I don't have all the information. There was a while there where I didn't, I, I just had gone through a gap there where I, I felt like I didn't know how to pray. So I decided that whenever I was gonna pray that I would just say, thank you for everything and forgive me for everything. And then I got really, really that was, because I, I started doing it all the time. Thank you for everything, forgive me for everything. Then I started realizing what a colossal thing I was saying. Colossal. I'm saying thank you for everything. Not just the good stuff, the bad stuff too. It's like a conversation, it really is. Like I'll be like, like, oh God, I hate this going, this going on, or like whatever. And, and sometimes it'll, I'll just be like a word that I will get and it'll be like, you know, trust or not now. <laughs> or something, but, but I, I, I always feel like that's how God's talking to me, like, okay, chill, 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 chill out, crazy kid, it's gonna be fine. I have Romans 12, 21 is tattooed on my finger. It's don't be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And that's been an incredible mantra for me. I'm mean, very sensitive to cruelty and, and injustice and bad things that are happening in the world. Uh, it, it gave me my power back, that mantra. Um, I haven't been to church in a long time, never, and had nothing to do with my faith. My faith was always strong, but I just hadn't been in a church community. And my real estate agent, um, years ago, was the happiest person I had ever met. I was having a really bad time in my life one time, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna go to that church where that happy guy goes. And I walked into Hollywood United Methodist. It felt different than any church I'd ever been in in my life. Every part of this church's DNA, every part of it is about love and non-judgment, complete acceptance, grace, uh, forgiveness, and equality for, for everyone. And, and the faces at, at, at the church and in the congregation, it's every size and shape and color and type, everyone coming together here. And it was so beautiful and I thought, you know, I think that's what God wants heaven to look like. Being, a, being in a loving and accepting environment that is completely about my spirituality as well and being able to talk to my pastor about everything and knowing, not fearing judgment at all was just, it's a lifesaver, absolutely.